Hi, my name is Arnold Castillo, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today, our content focuses on categories. We define what a category is, we take you step by step through creating a category, and we show you how best to use a category within your WordPress site. So, what exactly is a category? A category is used to organize content. Its main purpose is to allow your viewers and anyone using your content to create an organized reference structure that will allow them to find related content. In simple English, basically, if someone is looking at your article or your blog and they say, hey, I really like this content, they can go back in it, look at how you added your category, if you've added a category to your content, and then go back and find any other related article that has that same category. So a good example of categories being used is to look at the makes and models of cars. Here's an example. You can have a car make. An example of a car make is a Chevrolet. Then a car, then a car being made under Chevrolet is a Camaro, which is the name and model of the car. And then you can have the year of the car, which in this case is 1969. So the main category or the parent category is Chevrolet and the model of the car and the year of the car is the subcategories for that category. When you create a category, you can specify the category name, what's called a slug, and then you can have a description. So the slug is the URL friendly version of the category name. If I were to add a category that was called Chevrolet 1967 and then the slug I wanted to use for that would be Chevy 6-67 then my description would be category for 1967 Chevrolet cars the slug is just basically a short-term or shorthand way to remember that particular category it makes it easier for people to remember a specific category that you've created Categories are basically found under posts. So if you click on posts in the administrator and then go to categories, you'll see the section here for categories. Any defined category will be on the table at the right hand side. A default WordPress installation will have a table on the right hand side which has the uncategorized category. Any post that you create can be assigned to this unauthorized, uncategorized category. When you create a category, you click on posts, you go to categories, you give a name to your category. So we'll give this one a name called general. You can create a slug, which is the URL friendly version of the name. Again, we'll just, just call this general and we'll just call it one for now. And then you can give it a description. And then when you finish with that, at the bottom left hand side, click on add new category. And you'll see the general category appear in the table on the right hand side. When you start using categories, you should plan how you want your content to be organized. This is important because your readers will use your organization to reach the other content in your website. The more people who use your content, the better your search results will be. Make your categories easy to understand and logical. Don't make a million categories. Keep things organized and easy to navigate. Thanks again for watching this InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel below. We'd also like to see a comment or two about what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.